my homemade wind turbine that's on the roof is generating power. It's charging batteries right now. I have a wire all the way from the roof into my room. And it only cost me a couple dollars to build. Probably about four or five dollars to build this wind turbine. So we got some really nice values here. 350 milliamps at over five volts. So this is very exciting that I have the recording working, but now I'm gonna do what I made the wind turbine uh, testable for, is I'm gonna make more wind turbines to keep trying to improve them um, so that I can get more power. So as I was saying, I get the information through here. Right now on the roof, I'm running a turbine. So it's spinning whenever there's wind and I'm recording the data. At the same time, I'm gonna make a new larger wind turbine. So the very first one I made looked like this. It's very small and it's made out of two by two. And the piece I have here is a four by one. Sorry, this is made from a two by one and this is a four by one. So it's a much wider piece. Gives you a really nice wide blade. So I'm gonna have a, I think 11 inch triangle in the center as the hub. So I marked that out here. And then I'm gonna have these wider blades. These are the four by ones pine 4 by ones which I'm going to shape. So I want to build this so that it has uh, more torque and starts up at lower speed. So I just use my jigsaw and I cut the taper. So it's going to be 2 inches wide at the tip and 3.5 and inches wide at the root, which is the full width of the 4x1. So these are the other blanks, so I still have to cut those. But it looks good. I think this machine should be able to create maybe 50 or 100 watts, depending on how well I build it. So I have my center hub and my first um, three blanks and I've only tapered them so far. So now I can start shaping them. I have to mark all the different angles for the different airfoil sets. Um, so at the tip there's less of an angle because it rotates faster and at the root there's a steeper angle. Um, also what's important at this stage is that the weight of each of the blades are almost exactly the same. Um, you can shape and have one blade a little bit thicker to balance them at the end, but if one blade is significantly longer or wider, um, it's going to be very difficult to overcome that um, difference in weight and it will vibrate a lot. So they're all about 200, 240 grams. So I, I weighed all the blades. And it's really useful when I'm shaping them now. I'm going to weigh them every now and then. So I want, when I have the blade shaped, I want them to be about the same weight. Um, obviously, it depends. If there's more weight on the end, it's going to seem heavier when it's spinning. Um, if they're all the same weight, the next step is to statically balance and then um, balance them while they're spinning. My new wind turbine, new larger wind turbine. So just the fan on low, it spins really well. I'm amazed how well this is working. I built this yesterday and I threw it together today with the bearings and everything. It's running very straight with the two bearings. It's very low friction. And then I built this pulley wheel by hand. So I had a, a hole saw. I cut out this two inch hole and I drilled the center out and I just made a groove on the drill and then I have a little piece of wood as the pulley on the motor. 600 RPM. This is actually holding together really well. Think about how much free energy is being produced. It cost me two dollars and fifty cents for the wood for the turbine blades maybe another dollar for everything else the the tower was maybe twenty dollars because there's quite a bit of wood there but for the actual wind turbine and the generator is just some motor that I got out of a printer you can basically find a small motor anywhere you can get a significant amount of power out of them depending how big your wind turbine is like a drill motor you get a lot of power